Hello. In this video, we give a short introduction to the ideas behind Triple Rush, a fast in-memory triple store with a massively parallel architecture. For every triple in the store, there is a triple vertex. In this example, this is the triple Elvis-inspired Dylan. For every pattern with one wildcard, there is an index vertex which has edges to all triples that match the pattern. In this example, there are three index vertices that have edges to the one triple vertex. Index vertices with two wildcards have edges to index vertices with one wildcard. And the root index vertex links to the index vertices that only have their subject bound. The edge structure ensures that there is exactly one path from each index vertex to all triple vertices that match the respective pattern. Now let's add another triple vertex. The index structure with the additional triple vertex for Dylan-inspired jobs has two shared index vertices. Let us focus on a particular part of the index structure in order to understand how Triple Rush answers Sparkle queries. Query execution starts from a query vertex, which sends the query message to the vertex that matches the first query pattern. The index structure is used to send copies of query messages along those edges down the index in parallel. The two copies in this example are colored orange and green for illustration. The orange query copy would be moving in parallel with the green one, but in order to better explain what is going on, we will come back to it later on. The green copy is sent on to the index vertex wildcard inspired Dylan, and from there to the triple vertex Elvis inspired Dylan, where the variables X and Y are bound to Elvis and Dylan respectively. From there, the part partially bound query copy is sent to the index vertex that matches the next query pattern, Dylan inspired Z, which is Dylan inspired wildcard. The green query copy is then sent down to the triple vertex Dylan inspired jobs, where the variable Z is bound to jobs. All query patterns have been fully bound. The successful result is sent back to the query vertex, which keeps track of query execution and receives the variable bindings. Let's go back to the orange query copy. This copy is also sent down the index structure to wildcard inspired jobs and then to Dylan inspired jobs, where its first unbound query pattern is bound. From there, the partially bound query copy is sent to the index vertex that matches the next query pattern, jobs inspired Z. But no matching index vertex is found. This query copy has failed to find variable bindings and the failure is reported to the query vertex which is keeping track of the query execution. Now that the query vertex has received the results and failures of all query copies, query execution finishes. Next, let's revisit this query execution in parallel, how it would actually happen. The query is sent to the first index vertex again, but from there all query copies are sent around the index structure in parallel. This is what makes Triple Rush fast, as it enables massively parallel query executions. In order to evaluate Triple Rush, we compared its performance with Trinity RDF, which is a state-of-the-art parallel and distributed in-memory triple store. We ran their parallel evaluation queries with the same datasets and on comparable hardware. On the LUBM160 queries, Triple Rush is between 1.4 and 10 times faster than Trinity RDF. In the geometric mean, Triple Rush is almost 4 times faster. On the DBPSP10 queries, Triple Rush is between 2 and 6 times faster than Trinity RDF. In the geometric mean, Triple Rush is more than 3 times faster. Thanks for listening. If we got you interested, please check out our poster.